Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. I've been moaning for two days about heat in the garage. Don't get me wrong, I like warm weather. We've come out today, we're enjoying the beautiful sunshine, beautiful weather. Really long grass up on this hill. Dave's gonna have a run around. I've got Anna wearing the baseball cap that I bought her last week so she doesn't get sunstroke. I've just noticed it's a flat peak cap, Anna. I don't approve of flat peak caps. <laughs> Anna does not like being outside in the sun at all, do you? You promised me food. <laughs> yeah, she just doesn't like anything over about 12 degrees. She starts moaning and melting. But I like this weather. Dave likes this weather. We're just going to enjoy a little bit of the outside. Anna's just remembered this is a poker stop, so she's now going to be playing Pokemon Go. Yes, that's right, Anna still plays Pokemon Go. Dave, we really need to put your lead back on. We've got to cross the road. Dave, we need to get to your back. David. Goodness me. It's a dilapidated boat. Soaking wet. And he's on my Is he? <laughs> Are you playing Pokemon again? No, I'm just sitting here cooling down. It's still hot. It is a warm day. Don't like hot. Have you seen what happens onto that wall? It's made it look like brick. <laughs> That's amazing. So they've replaced that bit of wall with cement, but then scratched brick into it so it looks like brick. <laughs> That's possibly the best thing I've ever seen. Um, we're quite far away from home now on the wrong side of the river and the bridge is all the way up there. It's quite warm. We probably need to head home sometime soon. I'm quite jealous of Dave that he gets to jump in the river and I don't. By all means go. Yeah, but I don't think you'll let me sit on your knee afterwards like you do him. He gets favouritism. <laughs> I, no, I didn't let him, he just pumped himself. Yes, yeah, if I just pump myself, you'd shout at me, you let him stay. He weighs about five stone, you weigh about 25 stone. She's so mean, I weigh nowhere near 25 stone. It's another dilapidated boat. Do you not film me doing this? You're such a nerd. You are a nerd. Switching Hello? you, sir. Is it switching you, sir? Hello, Andy. Yeah. Have you had a good day at school? Yeah. What did you do? Did I do all that? You saw all that? You yeah. do seem very exactly. happy and start, positive and exactly excited. Start computer. You re you're still watching the restarting computers, are you? Click on the start. Okay, that's your favourite video this week, isn't it? David. Do you we want to use? Off. Do you want to use Andy's laptop? Restart computer. No. No. You just want to watch other people turn them off and on again. Yeah, but turning off. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Let's have a look what you did today. Well, it seems he's eaten and drunk everything he's supposed to eat. No accidents today. He's done a bit of maths. He's done some sports enrichment. Which I guess, I guess because it's been such a nice hot day again, it just, they're all outside. He was outside yesterday doing some PE. I think they're just getting them outside as much as they can to get them some fresh air while it's possible to do so. And I mean, he is much happier and more talkative than he normally is when he gets home from school. And I wonder if it does tie in to the speculation that we had back in December, January time about why he always gets poorly at that time of year. And we talked about seasonal affective disorder. And I wonder if the fact that he's been out in the sun for the last couple of days is actually cheering him up and making him making him feel happier and more, more compliant and more positive. Because 
we all now think that's what he suffers from and one of the other things we were talking about the child in need meeting yesterday that I didn't get around to telling you about is that as we move further on in the year as a group we need to try and come up with a plan for how to prevent a December slash January sickness and massive weight loss happen for the third year in a row so it's been the last two years exactly the same time as soon as the days are at their shortest he really really struggles he gets poorly that's it he's knocked out until like February but clearly a bit of sun does him good I think there's an argument that we need a medically uh, prescribed villa in Tenerife or something that we can go to in the winter so if you're watching NHS Andy what are you watching? The Tweenies game You're watching the Tweenies game? Yeah yes Are you watching it in Spanish? No in English I think English. you were, you were watching it in Spanish No in English <laughs> He was definitely just watching it in Spanish He plays Simpsons Hit and Run on the, on the Playstation in French and he's now watching the Tweenies in Spanish It's awesome Right, I'm going to make the most of being able to sit out in the garden at gone half past eight in the evening in shorts and t-shirt. Shorts again, second leg shot of the week um, in April. Because I'm not going to do this again for a little while. Probably not in April at all because it's going to be raining over the weekend and then we're back to normal April weather next week. It's been fun while it's lasted over these three days of having awesome hot summery weather but back to reality next week boo good job i didn't throw all my trousers away when i started wearing shorts up until very recently i did have a rule that once i started wearing shorts for the year i couldn't stop until i stopped wearing shorts for the year i don't know why i had that rule i just like to have rules like that sometimes luckily i beat that rule last year and i'm absolutely good dave where have you got a football from dave. Faith, that's not yours. Faith, that is not yours. Faith, not yours. I think this has come over the fence thing. No, out of the way. I don't want to kick you. Out of the way. Move. I'm not playing with you. I'm sending it back where it came from. Dave, right, we're going to have to in the house. There you go. It's back on the field. Dave's now trying to get over the fence so that he can chase the ball. Yeah, he's not happy that I've put it over the fence because he thinks I was playing with him. Oops, Dave. Dave, I wasn't playing. I was sending it back where it came from. Goodness me. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to you about just before we go today, um, as I've mentioned a few times, I'm doing, I'm speaking at the CW Unplugged Tech for Autism event next Thursday. And I've got a, it's only a five minute slot. It's not a big, massive speech, but the general gist is I'm there as the scene setter where I'm talking about some of the issues around being a parent of a child with autism and then there's going to be a whole load of science folk there who are going to brainstorm ideas for ways to use technology to solve some of the problems that we identify and the route that I'm going down is Andy's concept of danger or lack of concept of danger for example he won't look both ways when he crosses the street or we've trained him into going through the motions of looking but he's not actually looking he won't he'll look both ways and then walk he, even if there's a car coming he knows he has to look both ways but he doesn't understand why he's looking both ways or the fact that he'll grab the handbrake in a moving car or go for the door in a moving car or we can't have his bedroom window open because he's we've caught him almost hanging out of one many years ago now um but he basically just wanted to climb out of it it was, it would have fallen a long way if he'd got out of it. And we've got countless, countless other examples. He'll chew on the, the cable that plugs his iPad into the wall. And I mean, I could go on and on and on eating inedible objects. And so I think, I think looking down the route of his concept of danger is a good route to go down. But what I was wanting from you guys is for you to send me examples for other people with autism, not necessarily children, anyone who has autism, any examples of not fully understanding danger or being put in situations where you're not completely safe. Because I was talking about this with someone else the other day and they mentioned how they could be a runner. So we don't really get this with Andy very much, but that when they're out and about with their kid, Dave is still trying to get that ball off of the, off, from off of the field. He's trying to get over the fence. I don't know if you've been able to hear him rummaging all this time. He is trying to get over that fence. Dave! Dave! But their kid will just 
not have any interest in staying with their group and we'll just run off. Dave, in. Yeah, and their kid will have no interest in staying with their group when they're out and about. They'll just, if something catches their eye, they'll go. And it doesn't matter if that means they're separated from their family. It doesn't matter if that potentially puts them in danger. They just go. So if you could let me know, know down in the comments any examples of issues around safety for people with autism. Like I say, I've only got a five minute slot, but they want me to put together something that incorporates some kind of video. And they want that video on Sunday. And I haven't started working on it yet. So and it's only going to be like a 30 second video and four and a half minutes of me talking. But I need to think about what to put in the video. So there'll be a few examples of Andy doing things. But if we can intersperse that with some stuff you guys have said as well. I'm still, I'm still playing with ideas for how I'm going to put this together. And if you're watching from uh, Cambridge Wireless, don't worry, this is, this is all a joke. I'm, I'm not planning this now on Friday night when you want it for Sunday. That would be really unprofessional. This is, this is just to promote the event. Did they write it? Anyway. I'm going to leave things there because we're going to be recording our podcast shortly. As ever, a little bit of a plug for the podcast, MGP, Mature Gamer Podcast. Head over to youtube.com slash Podcast as soon as you're done watching this vlog and you can listen to this week's podcast, which is quite a lot of new games out this week. God of War, I've got more Switch stuff to talk about. I played the uh, This Grand Life that I played over on the gaming channel earlier in the week. If you haven't checked that out yet, you should check that out too. Stardew Valley I've been playing a lot of. There's other bits as well probably so lots of good stuff to watch over there if you have enjoyed this vlog please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs thank you very much for watching